don't be cheesy. <laughs> For any stand-up comedian, it's easy to do jokes on politics, sex and religion. They're very easy. Politics I cannot do. Elections are on the corner and I'm scared I want to live, right? Um, sex is very easy. I'm not sure how far can, should I take it. I can run it for hours, but you know, I can just tell you my sex life is like Ferrari. I don't have one. Um, and uh, religion, I think let's leave it there. We already talked about Gurdwara, so there were some jokes there, uh, but I just passed on. So, how did this vegan thing start? You know, why do we worry about not consuming milk? Where did we start consuming it? Did you ever think that? Back to first principles. It's not like it happened like this. A cow came, looked at the humans and said, take some milk, Lilo, take some milk, put it in the things you don't need, tea, pizza, whatever, Lilo, and then the cow's bachda, calf comes around and says, Mama, I want some milk. And Mama is angry. She says, Ek to pehle gaya. <laughs> Any of you did not know about the word vegan before coming here? Or did not understand what vegan means? Somebody said that they did not know what vegan, neither did I. So I used to think, you know, you imagine when you're growing up, you imagine some words and you try to relate them with something else. So I used to think like, lesbian is just Lebanese girls. I used to think that's lesbian. And I thought vegan is like lesbians or vegetarians, just making things up. Um, please laugh, it's... <laughs> Uh, it's okay. Um, now, we respect our mothers, right? All of us respect our mothers. So we call Earth our mother, motherland, Pratima. Then we started calling cow as our mothers because they were giving us milk, Gau Mata, right? And now it's Mother Dairy, <laughs> right? So see how they're playing with your minds, right? And uh, growing up, they said milk was healthy. We still hear that. Very lot of people refute it. Then they said, no, no, no. Then these guys, these bunch came around, said, no, milk is not healthy. Right? Save you 10 reasons. All, we heard many of them. Then they said, let's try soya milk. <coughs> Little while later, I, I moved to soya. They said, no, no, no. Soya milk is also bad. It causes your thyroid or something, I guess. Then they said, try almond milk. Almond milk is no milk. It's almonds and water. That's it. <laughs> and then they said, that's also bad for environment. For some reason, right? And now they started milking oats. There are too many trains I've taken on this milk. I'm just giving up milk, you know? And uh, not just this, you know, it's like green tea. They said green tea is good for you. Green tea is this, you keep pooping and you're healthy, right? And then it turned out that it only happens if you go and pluck the green tea off the mountains yourself. Otherwise, nothing happens, right? And it's just crazy how somebody sitting in some boardroom and deciding what's good for people for a short while until they screw up and then they say something else. So growing up, I used to ro roam around in sun without, you know, in the beach without any, any clothes. Then they said, oh, no, no, the sun is bad for you. You get, you can get cancer. Then they said, apply sunscreen. Years later, they said, no, 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 sunscreen is bad for you. That can cause you cancer. Turns out, living can cause you cancer and nothing else, right? And so I'm giving up on food, giving up on living. And they say, you can live off air. So now air is also polluted. So I don't know, there are too many things happening here. Um, the only thing left, I think, which nobody, no, nobody has said is bad or not cons causing any cancer, is broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck with that. Uh, now, how many, very cheesy one, how many vegans does it take to change a light bulb? None, because vegans can't get anything done. It's a very small community. How many meat eaters? They don't need to change the bulb, they're happy to stay in dark. Right? Um, I'm not a vegan because I love animals because I hate plants, right? And that causes deforestation as well. Uh, I'm on a vegan diet. Personally, this month I'm on a vegan diet and I tell you, vegans taste very good. Uh, not <laughs> <a> vegan diet. <laughs> uh, if vegetarians or vegans, any vegans in the house, can I have raise of hands again? So we said, this was a bad example, right, Dharmesh? Right? How do you know somebody's a vegan? They'll shout and tell you. <laughs> They'll tell you before you even ask, right? And uh, I think, Dharmesh, we should have, instead of you, we should have Popeye, who eats spinach and has big forearms, as our role model and not you, right? 
Uh, but that's it for me. Just some jokes I made. I hope vegans can take a joke. And uh, thank you. <laughs>